Has America's democracy always been as we know it today? This intriguing question may prompt us to reflect upon the evolution of our democratic system. Have you ever wondered how this system came to be, or the factors that have shaped it over the centuries? To fully comprehend the intricacies of this journey, we turn to the insightful observations of one, Alexis de Tocqueville, a 19th-century French political thinker. To dive into this, we'll explore the observations of Alexis de Tocqueville, a 19th-century French political thinker. Who was Alexis de Tocqueville, and why should we care about his thoughts on American democracy? Let's set the stage. We're in the 19th century and a young French political thinker named Alexis de Tocqueville is making his way across the Atlantic to the United States. His mission, to study the burgeoning democracy that was taking root in the New World. His observations and analysis would become the basis for his seminal work, Democracy in America, a text that remains influential to this day. Tocqueville's keen eye and thoughtful introspection allowed him to delve deep into the American democratic experience, highlighting its unique characteristics and shedding light on its potential pitfalls. He painted a vivid picture of a society that was balancing equality and freedom, fostering civic participation, and decentralizing power. Tocqueville's insights from his travels in 1831 and 1832 continue to shape our understanding of democracy. His work is not just a historical relic, but a living, breathing guide to the virtues and challenges of democracy. What did Tocqueville notice when he set foot in America that was different from Europe? Well, let's dive right in. Tocqueville was struck by the unique balance between equality and freedom in the New World. He observed that unlike Europe, where social hierarchies and class divisions were prevalent, America was a place where everyone was considered equal in the eyes of the law. But this equality didn't stifle individual freedom. On the contrary, it thrived. Tocqueville saw a vibrant civic culture where citizens were actively involved in their communities. They didn't just vote and then retreat to their private lives. No, they participated in town meetings, they joined civic associations, they involved themselves in local politics. In essence, they were the engine that kept the democratic machine running. He was also fascinated by how engaged American citizens were. They didn't just passively accept the decisions made by their elected officials. Instead, they questioned, they debated, and they held their leaders accountable. This active citizen engagement was, in Tocqueville's view, a vital ingredient in the recipe for a successful democracy. Moreover, Tocqueville noticed that power in America was decentralized. It wasn't concentrated in the hands of a few elites in a distant capital. Instead, it was spread out among local governments and institutions, which allowed for greater autonomy and participation from the citizenry. Lastly, he observed the importance of civil society in America's democratic system. He saw a multitude of associations and organizations that filled the space between the individual and the state. These institutions, he believed, played a crucial role in promoting civic participation and fostering a sense of community. In essence, Tocqueville saw a democracy that was alive, vibrant, and participatory. It was a system where the balance of equality and freedom, the active engagement of its citizens, and the decentralization of power created a dynamic and resilient democratic culture. These observations established the foundation for Tocqueville's analysis of American democracy. His insights into the unique characteristics of American democracy continue to resonate with us today as we navigate our own democratic journey. What made American democracy work according to Tocqueville? This is a question that has intrigued political thinkers for almost two centuries. Alexis de Tocqueville, the 19th century French political philosopher, identified several key strengths that he believed were central to the success of American democracy. Firstly, Tocqueville was struck by the importance of civil society in America. He observed a nation filled with associations, clubs, and societies, all formed and run by ordinary people. These organizations, he argued, were not just social clubs, they were schools of democracy, teaching Americans how to cooperate, compromise, and govern themselves. This was a stark contrast to Tocqueville's native France, where power was centralized and the people had little say in their governance. Secondly, Tocqueville was impressed by the level of local autonomy in America. He noticed that local communities had a great deal of control over their affairs. Schools, roads, and other public services were managed at the local level, which allowed citizens to be directly involved in their governance. This, Tocqueville argued, fostered a sense of civic responsibility and engagement crucial to the functioning of democracy. Finally, 
Tocqueville pointed to the decentralization of power as a critical strength of American democracy. Unlike the centralized governments of Europe, power in America was spread across a vast network of institutions, from the federal government, to state legislatures, to local town councils. This diffusion of power, Tocqueville believed, prevented any one person or group from gaining too much control and safeguarded the rights and freedoms of the people. In essence, Tocqueville saw a vibrant, dynamic democracy, full of active, engaged citizens. He saw a system that encouraged participation and valued local decision-making. He saw a democracy that was strong not because of its leaders, but because of its people. These strengths, Tocqueville argued, are integral to the functioning of American democracy. And indeed, his observations still resonate today, reminding us of the enduring strengths and unique characteristics of American democracy. But democracy isn't perfect, is it? Indeed, as Alexis de Tocqueville keenly observed during his travels in the United States, there are inherent challenges to this form of government. One of the most significant and enduring threats he identified is the tyranny of the majority. In a democracy where majority rule is the guiding principle, there's a risk that the majority could impose its will on the minority, infringing upon their rights and freedoms. This could lead to a form of despotism where the majority wields absolute power, a situation that contradicts the very essence of democracy. Tocqueville also highlighted social conformity as another challenge. In a society that values equality and freedom, there's a tendency for individuals to conform to societal norms and expectations to maintain harmony. But this conformity can stifle individuality, creativity, and critical thinking, elements that are essential for a vibrant, thriving democracy. But as Tocqueville emphasized, there are antidotes to these threats. Education, for instance, is a powerful tool. An educated citizenry is better equipped to make informed decisions, resist manipulation, and hold those in power accountable. Education encourages critical thinking, promoting diversity of thought, and preventing the tyranny of the majority and the pressure of social conformity. And then there's the free press, which Tocqueville saw as a bulwark against despotism. A free and independent media can expose corruption, scrutinize those in power, and provide citizens with the information they need to make informed decisions. It acts as a check and balance, keeping the government transparent and accountable to the people. In this light, we see that while democracy has its challenges, it also has inbuilt mechanisms to address these threats. But these mechanisms need to be nurtured and protected. These challenges remind us that the preservation of democracy requires constant vigilance. It's a call to action for all of us to ensure that the democratic principles we hold dear are not undermined or eroded. For, as Tocqueville's work reminds us, the strength of democracy lies not just in its institutions, but in the vigilance and active participation of its citizens. So, how does Tocqueville's work influence us today? Well, Alexis de Tocqueville's keen observations from the 19th century still echo in our ears, his insights as fresh and relevant as they were then. His book, Democracy in America, is not just a historical document, but a living testament to the evolving nature of democracy itself. Tocqueville's exploration of the American democratic experiment has bequeathed us a rich legacy of understanding. His observations on the balance of equality and freedom, the importance of civic participation, and the role of local autonomy remain cornerstones in our understanding of democracy. He emphasized how these elements together create a vibrant, participatory society where citizens are actively engaged in shaping their future. Tocqueville also left us with valuable insights into the threats that democracies face. His concern about the tyranny of the majority and social conformity resonates even today, alerting us to the potential pitfalls of democracy. He underscored the importance of education and a free press in preserving our liberties and warding off the specter of despotism. His warnings serve as a constant reminder to safeguard these essential elements of our society. Moreover, Tocqueville's comparisons between the United States and Europe continue to provide a fascinating study in cultural, political, and social contrasts. His observations help us understand how different historical and cultural contexts shape democratic institutions and societies. In essence, Tocqueville's work remains a touchstone for political thinkers, students, and anyone interested in the intricate workings of democratic societies. His book continues to be widely read, analyzed, and discussed, with each generation finding new relevance in his observations. 
but perhaps the most enduring aspect of Tocqueville's legacy is his unwavering belief in the potential of democracy. Despite acknowledging its challenges, he remained optimistic about the capacity of democratic societies to adapt, evolve, and improve. His faith in the democratic spirit and the ability of citizens to shape their destiny inspires us to strive for a better, more equitable society. In the end, Tocqueville's Democracy in America is more than just a book. It's a mirror held up to our society, reflecting both our triumphs and our shortcomings. It challenges us to question, to reflect, and to engage with the democratic process, to ensure that the balance between equality and freedom is always maintained. Tocqueville's Democracy in America continues to provoke thought and discussion, reminding us of the complexities and nuances of democracy.